Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Pliny the Elder's Russian River. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, that's the one. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out Russian River's Pliny for President. So Pliny for President is from Russian River, this is basically Pliny the Elder, the infamous and coveted uh, West Coast IPA, but this one is just simply double dry hopped. And that's, I think, what the difference is. Yep, that's the only difference. Yeah, 8% alcohol IPA. It's gonna be a West Coast affair. I'll go ahead and link the original Pliny review we did up there in the cards, and we can compare these two beers. So, what do you think this one's gonna turn out like? I think it's gonna be quite similar to Pliny the Elder. I think you're right. Um, but just just a little bit. A little different, maybe. Yeah, maybe the bitterness is gonna be a bit different. Ooh, I smell that piney aroma right off the bat. Yeah. Wow. It smells great. Now they say with uh, Pliny, you gotta drink these fresh. The fresher, the better. And they say it all over the can, like in the other review we, we posted. This one doesn't say anything like that, though. This just says nothing. Free the um, hops. Free the hops. This one's relatively fresh, so, um, you know, I'm expecting to get the most out of it. Also, thank you to Kelly for sending this over from the West Coast. We do greatly appreciate all the beer shipments you keep sending us, man. That is super awesome. Um, so let's uh, dive into this one and get a nose on it and see what we can determine. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's piney that, you know, it's, it's, it's got less of a piney kick than the original That's piney. That's what I was just going to say, yep. At least that I'm getting. It's not as pungent as I remember the. Yeah, not as earthy. Older piney. It's a be. little, it's a little sharper and not yes. as earthy. Huh, interesting. But it's got all this classic kind of West Coast hop characteristics. I'm getting like that pine, that earth, a little bit of that earthiness. Not quite so much as the original uh, beer, but still a little bit of like pineapple uh, aroma in there. Getting some sweetness too. That smells delicious. Shall we dive in and see what this one's going to do? Yep. Cheers. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's actually a lot smoother yeah. than the <laughs> Pliny is. I get, I mean, I'm not getting as, as bitter of I'm a not, flavor. yeah, I'm not getting those those dank notes. I mean, it's danky, but I'm not getting those like resinous notes just like hanging out in the back of your throat, which it's, I did. Yeah, with it's the original. it's there for sure. Yeah, but it doesn't like linger too long. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, straight up pine from that hops in your face. Um, it's you know a classically West Coast tasting beer. Um, you know, it's it's got that that really resinous kind of thick hoppy thing happening, but again, doesn't linger in the back of your throat too long at all. I almost feel like this is like Pliny for the new generation. Right, know? yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> that makes sense actually. Like it's more... Um, like the original West Coast beers were really quite bitter. bitter I mean, yeah. they were just trying to experiment with, with that bitterness factor and throwing a bunch of hops and beers and stuff. But I feel like now, we're, you know, since we're on that hazy thing and there's sour beers and milk sugar beers and all these other crazy yeah. things that are way easier to drink than a West Coast IPA. You don't see a lot of breweries around here doing a West Coast IPA. I mean, few and far between, right? Yeah, it's like a trend that's kind of like fallen off a bit when it comes to IPAs yeah. is that we no longer are seeing a lot of that like, you know, true West Coast style IPAs. Everything's kind of smoothed out. It's sweeter. It's uh, just just more approachable. Yeah, yeah, just more easy drinking. And and this this kind of mirrors that I feel like yeah. this is definitely like a beer that drinks a little easier than the Pliny does. I had a hard time with the Pliny to be honest. I liked it. It was just I you know at the end of that review I think what we said was like. Glad we tried it, but like we wouldn't stand in a line for it. And like the hype train was just too aggressive with that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to say replace Pliny with this, but I think this is a better beer. I think this is a better done, a, a more well brewed beer. I don't know. I have to argue with that. I think it's just that we maybe it's just that our palates have kind of just 
we're not used to the West Coast style beers anymore that nowadays we expect things to be smoother and we expect things to not be as piney anymore. And so we're just used to something a bit, we're used to IPAs that are a bit different right. now. Right, a little smoother of a, of a delivery. Right, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, again, this is just, it's a classic West Coast IPA. It's really, really well brewed. It's really well done. It's got, you know, all the characteristics that you'd expect out of a West Coast IPA. But you're right, I think, like when you're talking about more modern beers, um, I think the trend is, even on the West Coast too, is like those hazy beers, Moonraker, Pizza Port, you know, all these companies are producing these hazy beer bombs. Um, and I think the West Coast IPA, the classic West Coast IPA, has kind of gotten lost over the years a little bit. Yeah, I think it's... it's. Um, so when you have one, you're like, oh my God, so yeah. bitter. <laughs> that trend kind of died out a bit in like, what, 90s? Th- early 2000s. Yeah, early 2000s, I would say. Something and then it kind of there. died out a bit. And so now we're just used to just something hazy different. beers. But, but I still, I mean, I think it's kind of like its own Pliny in a way. I think it is. It's got different characteristics. Like it's it's definitely still like a West Coast IPA with all the same notes that you get from the original Pliny, but mm-hmm. it's just, it has a little twist on it. I don't think it's, it's quite yeah. as aggressive. It's not quite as bitter. Um, I, I, you know, I just, I think personally it's a better brewed beer. That's just me. Um, it's just unfortunate that, you know, it won't be coming back until, I don't think, until don't another know. election. I would, you know, yeah, I mean, you would I'm think. I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, well, does this happen every year? Maybe around maybe July? Year, yeah. That would be amazing. Um, I, I haven't been following uh, Russian River on that level, so I don't really know. Maybe you can tell us in the comments if this releases once a year or once every four years or once every major election. I don't know. Uh, but either way. Great beer, great job, Russian River. Um, yeah, really good beer. So that does it for this one. Beer is life, and life is too short not to watch some of these videos. I'll link up here in the cards. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and stay crafty. Until next time, cheers. Yeah.